The next Ray-Ban Meta Glasses might be the moment smart glasses stop feeling like toys and start rewriting how you look at the world. For years, these things have been fun sidekicks. Take a quick photo, answer a call, maybe glance at a tiny notification floating over one eye, then forget they exist. Cool, yes, but not life-changing. Now Meta and Ray-Ban are quietly preparing a model that finally aims higher, with screens in both lenses and a much bolder plan hiding behind that familiar frame. Think about the glasses you have now. Either they do nothing but correct your vision, or they push a small square of light into one corner of your view. Useful for pings and song titles, sure, but it never quite feels natural. With the next Ray-Ban Meta prototype, leaks say that tiny single display disappears and each lens gets its own micro panel, so information sits in front of both eyes instead of clinging awkwardly to just one side. Two synchronized displays may not sound dramatic at first. You are not summoning dragons into your living room or filling the sky with holograms. But when your brain sees the same overlay in both eyes, the experience suddenly feels centered, stable, and far closer to real augmented reality than the current one-eye-only approach ever could. Navigation arrows, messages, or your AI assistant can line up with the world instead of floating like a sticker on the edge of your vision. This is where Meta's long game starts to show. Their true endpoint is still a full AR headset in everyday glasses form, codenamed Artemis, with proper 3D graphics, spatial mapping, and rich digital layers glued to physical objects. That project is still a few years down the road, but Meta does not want to jump straight from today's simple display glasses to sci-fi headgear in one leap. The dual display Ray-Bans are the bridge, a big step that feels wearable now while training people for what comes later. Right now we are living in phase one of that roadmap. Today's Ray-Ban Meta glasses are basically notification companions. They offload the heavy lifting to your phone, whisper directions, let you ask an assistant a question, and capture short clips for social apps. The next phase is different. When both lenses light up, information can be spread across your entire view instead of being squeezed into the margins. It is still not full AR, but it moves far beyond a smartwatch glued to your face. And when Artemis finally arrives, Meta wants more than just new hardware on store shelves. They want an ecosystem that already feels familiar. That means years of iterating through Ray-Ban designs until they disappear on your face, AI helpers that respond in natural language instead of robotic commands, and input methods that work without waving your hands around in public. It also means giving developers tools to build little AR experiences now so that when true AR glasses hit, there is already something worth seeing. Picture this. You put on what looks like normal Ray-Ban frames. Inside, there is a waveguide optical stack from partners like Shot and Loomis shaping the light so you see crisp, full-color overlays without bulky lenses. Qualcomm supplies a newer AR chip that quietly manages real-time graphics and on-device AI without cooking your temples. Your phone is still nearby, but the glasses no longer feel like a dumb terminal. They begin to feel like their own small computer. That upgraded chipset is a bigger deal than the spec sheet will ever show. Efficient silicon is what lets Meta push ambient AI into the glasses instead of keeping everything in an app on your phone. If the chip can understand speech locally, track basic context, and handle simple computer vision, the glasses can respond faster while preserving battery. Leaks already hint at several hours of active use with a charging case that tops them up multiple times, which is crucial if Meta expects you to keep them on all day instead of wearing them like a novelty. Of course, Meta is not building this alone. The Ray-Ban partnership exists for a reason. Essilor Luxottica knows how to make frames people actually want to wear to work, dinner, and everything in between. Meta brings the software, AI, and chips. The eyewear giant shapes the style, lenses, and long-term manufacturing. Meta even took a minority stake in the company to lock in that relationship, signaling that this is not just a passing experiment but a pillar of their hardware strategy. There is also pressure building from overseas competitors. Several Chinese brands are already shipping lightweight binocular AR glasses that project full-color images into both eyes, even if the designs are still rough around the edges. If Meta wants to lead in Western markets, they cannot let that gap grow. The dual-display Ray-Ban model is as much a response to that pressure as it is a step in their own roadmap. Lose this race now, and someone else teaches the world what everyday AR is supposed to feel like. Under the hood, the optics are doing a lot of work you never see. Reflective waveguides bend and bounce the light, 
so that virtual images appear at a comfortable distance instead of directly on your lenses. Wider fields of view become possible when both eyes are sharing the load, which makes status overlays and arrows look less like narrow strips and more like part of your environment. All of this has to be manufactured at scale, with glass that remains thin, durable, and precise enough to avoid eye strain. Then there is the question of how you actually talk to these glasses. Meta is betting on three main inputs, your voice, subtle finger movements read by a neural wristband, and whatever you decide to capture through the camera. Voice is straightforward. You ask, the assistant answers. The neural interface is where it gets weird in the best way. Tiny electrical signals from your forearm can be translated into clicks and scrolls without you visibly moving much at all. Imagine pinching your fingers in your pocket and watching the interface respond as if you were holding a controller. On top of that, the classic Ray-Ban audio setup is sticking around. Tiny open-ear speakers in the arms beam sound toward your ears without plugging them, letting you hear music, navigation prompts, or your AI assistant while still hearing the street around you. A refreshed microphone array handles calls and voice commands, filtering background noise to make sure the assistant hears you over traffic and chatter. The camera is expected to stay in that sweet spot around 12 megapixels, but with better processing for dynamic range and low light, so clips from your day do not look like washed-out security footage. None of that matters if people are uneasy around the glasses. Privacy has been the loudest concern since the first camera-equipped wearables appeared. Meta knows that a lens and microphones built into something you wear constantly will draw scrutiny. Expect more aggressive recording indicators, clearer light signals when the camera is active, and maybe even hardware switches that physically cut power to sensors when you flip them off. If these glasses are going to blend into daily life, bystanders need to know when they are on camera and when they are not. But here is the part that makes dual displays more than a spec bump, the everyday moments. Think about walking through an unfamiliar city while soft arrows glide along the street ahead instead of forcing you to stare down at your phone. Picture recording a video while small notes float near the edge of your view, reminding you of key talking points so you never lose your train of thought. Consider seeing translation hints above signs or quick labels over storefronts without ever lifting a handset. Once both eyes are involved, those overlays feel less like stickers and more like they belong in the scene. That shift is subtle, but it is powerful. When your brain accepts digital info as part of the environment, you stop treating it as a gimmick and start relying on it. Everyday glasses become quiet co-pilots instead of noisy gadgets. Meta's secret weapon in all of this is AI. The displays are only as useful as the assistant behind them. Meta has been weaving generative models and vision systems into Instagram, WhatsApp, and its own assistant, precisely because the future of all that intelligence is not a phone screen. It is a lightweight pair of glasses that understand what you are seeing in real time. When the system knows where you are, what you are looking at, and what you have asked before, it can serve you information that actually matters rather than random trivia. That might look like restaurant recommendations appearing near doorways, reminders surfacing right when you walk into the office, or gentle nudges about your calendar as you head toward a meeting room. None of those moments require full 3D dragons or exploding graphics, they require context, timing, and a screen you actually forget you are wearing. The jump from one display to two is what lets those overlays sit comfortably in your world instead of hovering awkwardly on the sidelines. So when could you realistically wear these as your only pair of glasses? Meta's internal schedule points to a dual display Ray-Ban release before the full Artemis launch window, which analysts still place around the later part of this decade. That means the enhanced Ray-Bans could arrive while true AR remains in the coming soon category, giving Meta a crucial head start in teaching people what living with partial AR feels like day to day. Do you want to be part of that first wave or wait until the tech feels invisible? There is also a social question we have not fully answered yet. Are people ready to accept that every pair of stylish sunglasses might hide cameras, screens, and AI that remembers what you saw? Early reactions to previous smart glasses showed both excitement and discomfort. The dual display Ray-Bans will test whether better design, clearer privacy protections, and genuinely helpful features can tip that balance. If Meta gets it wrong, these glasses stay a niche gadget. If they get it right, wearing a computer on your face could start to feel boringly normal. Real AR begins when extraordinary tech hides inside ordinary frames. As we move toward that timeline, the question shifts from, can Meta build this, to, should we invite it into our own routines? 
Will you trust an AI that quietly watches what you watch, or will you draw the line at your eyes? Whatever you decide, the next two generations of Ray-Ban Metaglasses are the proving ground. Dual displays, smarter chips, neural input, and deeper AI integration will either convince people that lightweight AR is worth the trade-offs or prove that we still are not ready. The hardware is almost here. Now the debate is about culture, comfort, and control for you, your friends, and everyone watching around you. If you enjoyed exploring this future with me, tap like so more people can find this breakdown and consider subscribing to Winds of Thought for more deep dives into the tech that is quietly reshaping how we live and work today. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.